Initially, it was quite typical reporting, covering a big public demonstration in the city. Later that night, it felt like a fuse had been lit and there were clashes outside the police station, projectiles being thrown, batons coming down and protesters. I could tell from the scene there was going to be a long night ahead of us. It was really frustrating after that long night to see the national media painting the protesters as the instigators of the violence. That wasn't what me and my colleagues saw on the ground, so we thought it was important to call out the mainstream media. That's what the cable is good for, being able to get the story right. We were there from the off, before the broadcasters, the national journalists came down, and we're still sticking to the story because what happened during those nights isn't over. The police and crime bill is still going through Parliament. People are still in the dock at Bristol Crown Court and there are many more cases ahead. The hours and risk that we dedicated to this story were only made possible by the thousands of Bristol Cable members.